how to create stop motion in Adobe Rush. Stick around. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudio. If this is your first time here, thank you for checking out this channel. If you are returning guests, thank you as well. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can create stop motion footage like this right here in Adobe Rush. I'm going to be using the desktop version, but you can do this on mobile as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to start a project here in Adobe Rush. Start from scratch so you can see the whole process. Now, the pictures that I'm going to be using, I edited them in Adobe Lightroom, as you can see right here, I already have them set up, ready to go. And what I'm going to do is select all of these. Now, one important thing to do when you're creating the stop motion footage is have your pictures in the order in which you want your animation to kind of start and end. Have that in mind when you are shooting as well as editing your photos, numbering them so they come in the correct sequence. So that's a key thing to remember. So let's go ahead and just go and select all of these. So I've got 20 clips here or 20 stills that I'm going to use for my stop motion and go ahead and choose create. Here are my 20 clips in Adobe Rush already laid out in the timeline here. Now by default, the orientation or aspect ratio is going to be landscape. Now I'm going to go ahead and change that over here, depending on how I want my clip to look like wherever I'm going to send it on social media, nine by 16, four by five, whichever one you choose. Now here's the key thing to remember when you import your images in rush, depending on where you go. For example, if I choose one by one, my head is cropped right there, as you can see. So what I would have to do is come over here to the transform button and make adjustments to the vertical position of the photo. Now I would have to go and do that to each one. Now you could to kind of speed up the process, copy the vertical position, just go right there and choose, you know, command C on a Mac, depending on what device you have. And I come over here and click in here and then paste it in and it would be exactly the same. So that kind of will speed up your process. Not like in Premiere where you can kind of copy uh, attributes and paste them. Rush, you'll have to kind of manually do it, but here's kind of a shortcut there. I'm going to go ahead and undo those options. I'm going to go back to, let's say nine by 16. I'm going to share this on uh, my IG stories. So I'm gonna leave the transform button for now. And pretty much I've got everything laid out. Now, if I scrub through, you kind of see a little bit, whoop, I got one more to undo there. Let's see, nine by 16. Let's do undo twice. There we go. I think we'll be good now. There we go. So now I've got all of them pretty much in the same spot. Let's kind of scroll through. Ah, there's the last thing. So I'm scrubbing through my timeline and right now it's about 45 seconds. When you import clips into Premiere Rush, by default, they're going to be about two seconds long. As you can see right here, the two seconds. So each of these clips are about two seconds long. So it's not going to work for stop motion. If I hit play, it's gonna be one 1,000, two 1,000, then it goes to the next clip. It defeats the purpose of a stop animation. It's not going to work. So I'll have to do some manual trimming of the clips. Now, what I'm going to do is take this and zoom in on the clips, just so you can see kind of your thumbnail right there. And this is the whole clip, the two seconds. And this is kind of a little bit of a trick right here is you want to have maybe I would say two hundreds of a second for each clip. So as you can see, the timeline right there is going to about eight hundreds of a second. I think that's eight hundreds of a second. So uh, what I use kind of as a marker or as a uh, landmark, so I'm going to zoom in here kind of where you see your image there. So I've got about four hundreds of a second right about there, right where you see that image, that's kind of the um, trick that I use to trim. So I know exactly how long to make each clip. Well, here I'll set that timeline, the scrubber, then I'll choose the scissors there and I'm going to delete the rest of the clip. So if I play once, that's pretty much about how long I want it. So now what I'll do is go through each of the rest of the clips and 
manually cut them. Now, again, there's no shortcut on how to do this in Rush. This is kind of a manual way. You could use Premiere Pro, but Premiere Pro is a little more uh, advanced tool than Rush and may be intimidating for some of you out there. But this is a great way to kind of get started with the video editing tools in Adobe. And then when you're ready to move up to Premiere Pro, you've got some experience here. You got a little bit of a, a background. So what I'm going to do here is go through each of these clips and trim them like that. And it's gonna take me a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is go and trim them and I'll be right back. I've got all the clips trimmed. I ended up going with 300ths of a second. It just looked better. It was preference. So whichever one works, 300, 400ths of a second for you, let's choose the best one that you want. So I've got them all set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play so you can see. And there it is, pretty much ready to go. Now, the thing is, when I share something like this on Instagram, it's going to say, you need at least three seconds of time. Now, this is only about two seconds, so I need to make it longer. Now, I don't wanna increase each clip because then it'll lose that stop motion kind of look. It'll take a little longer to switch between each clip. So what I'm going to do is kind of go backwards. So as you see my motion going in that direction and then my surprise look, I'm going to go backwards but I need to go and extend the timeline. So here's the trick is I'm going to click on the last second to the last one right here. And then over here, there's a duplicate button and it should add it. Let's see here right next to it. And I'll just kind of move it over here. It's a little tricky. You have to make sure and not put them out of order. I'll hit duplicate again and what I'm doing is just moving over to the next one. And what I'll do is just in succession, I'll go through each one and duplicate and then put it over here. So let's see, we've got smiley face, boom, boom. So smiley face, one, two, three. So we got that one, duplicate that and so on. So I'll just go through that process, do that for each one, duplicate and add it to the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. I've got all the clips copied and extended the whole timeline to about four and a half seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you here, hit play. And as you can see, and then now it goes kind of in reverse. So all set, ready to go. The next step I'll do is add my logo. So let me expand this out a little bit here and hit my media button up there and go look for my logo on my computer here. Let's go ahead and add that because you always want to brand your content on social media here. And for some reason, stuff is out of order. Here we go. And let me find my logo. Da, 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 da. All right, here we go. Let's go with that one. And now let's close this out. Let's bring this on top and let's expand this out. And the logo is a little too large. So let's go ahead and adjust that. Let's bring down the proportions and find a spot to add it. Let's go down to the bottom right corner. And that should look just fine. And if I want to, I can add audio clip to it by clicking on the button here and looking for an audio clip. I'm going to leave this one without audio just for the sake of time. I can also add overlays, but I think it kind of defeats the purpose of the stop animation personally, but I'm going to go with this next step. Last step I would say is go to the share button and go ahead and export. You've got the option to save it to your local, save it to Instagram. So I'll choose that as well. Let me check the settings here, 1080, perfect. So what it'll do is it'll export a version to save on a computer and one for Instagram. I'm actually just going to go ahead and save the one for Instagram. Hit export and I'm all set, ready to share. And that's how to use Adobe Rush to create stop motion. Now, a caveat here, if you have more than 20 images, you know, if you're getting up to the 100 clips, you might wanna try using something like Adobe Premiere Pro because it'll take you a little bit longer to do in Rush. I would keep it within 20 to 30 images or clips to create your stop motion and start off with Rush, get more experience, and when you're ready, jump up to Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. I can't wait to see what you create. Please do 
tag it in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you once again for stopping by, and as always, be good to win another. Peace.